Trash Ever 1000 here. We're on day two. We're sealing the boat, not selling the boat. Okay, Brian? So, <laughs> that was funny. So, I got a monkey on here doing a little bit of wire brush work. We're just going to clean off what's flaking off. I got some more glass work to, glass work to do. And we possibly will be sealing it tonight. So, Stick around. We still got a couple more parts because then we got to paint it and then we got to clear coat it. So hang tight, guys. Okay, guys. So there's what we had to fiberglass. Got that hole that was down through there all covered up. Same way with on this side. So, see this is not part of the boat. If water gets in there, it doesn't get in the boat, okay? Um, like if they fill up with water, it's not that big of a deal. It just causes more drag. But, so, um, I could have took them off. Like I said, I want to leave them on, they're cool. It's a 1969 and it's got fins. <laughs> so, but you know, I mean, it's just, you know, I'll have to sand a little bit of those hairy things off of there and whatnot, but I'll put a little bit up there just to protect them rivets. Nothing really structural, just to keep the rivets from worn off. Like I was telling her, I don't want a boat that I can't just pull up to a bank or something and get off because I'm worried about it rubbing the bank. You know what I mean? I mean, this thing's going to be used. I don't want to have to anchor 30 yards offshore to swim to the beach. I want to be able to pull right up on it. So, I do see a little crack right here. Right there that I'm not real concerned about. I mean, it's going to be sealed up, don't get me wrong, but that, you know, that has nothing to do with the boat if water gets in there, but it, it shouldn't after I seal it. When I pulled this thing out of the water, I've never had any water coming out of it, but I went ahead and uh, had her hit that with the wire brush, or the wire wheel, this is what she was using here. So, I mean, we're just really going to seal where the rivets are because it wasn't leaking anywhere else. Like here, you know, there was no holes. The only place that was bringing on a little bit of water was there was a rivet right up in here somewhere. I think it was that one or that one would let a little bit of water in. And then back here, there was a rivet. Um, so once that, once that dries up and everything, We'll go ahead and finish getting all the flake, the paint that's flaking off, you know, we'll go ahead and hit that with a wire wheel and then we'll wipe it all down with the paint thinner and we'll go ahead and start sealing. So, but we're going to let this dry up, dry up real good first. And then, like I said, it's going to have shit. Don't want this stuff getting dirty. So, and then it's going to have a couple coats of, of paint and probably two coats of clear on it. We'll just see, but I think it'll be fine. Like I said, it didn't really have any holes in it. It was just a couple, let's see, there was three rivets, I think it was leaking. I sealed it, or I didn't seal it. I just sealed up some of the rivets, you know. These are bolts. Um, and then it got down to there was only two rivets. After he's on the water for about 10 minutes, you can see inside the boat where it'd start getting wet. It didn't actually take on water per se, you know what I mean? So I never had to pump it out. You know, I do have a, I do have a pump in there, but never had to pump it. So this over here must've been a crack because this is weld here. Well, it's got resin on top of it, but this has been welded. So it must have had a crack at one time because it does flex a lot right up front there. So I'll make sure to seal that real good. 
like I said, I could probably have gotten by with, you know, just painting it and clear coating it. And the only reason why I'm putting a clear coat on is so the paint don't don't chip off as easy. You know what I mean? Because, like I said, you can see the bottom of this boat. And, you know, you go over logs and, you know, hit some sandbars and stuff. It just kind of helps protect it. If I got to throw a coat of paint on the bottom once a year, I'm good with that, you know? Because once it's on that trailer, if I have to, I can jack the boat up so it's off the bunks and just smear some paint on it. But yeah, the clear coat's just for, just to kind of protect the paint. And the paint will protect the sealer. So um, I will be clear coating the sides. You know, the whole boat's getting clear coated. But Monkey thought we was gonna seal the whole boat. And I'm like, there's no holes here. You know, these holes, that's up here at the gun all those just where someone's had something on there the water it doesn't sit that low in the water so uh there's no holes in it so there's no sense in sealing it if there's no holes these well they're technically they're a hole because you know the rivets go clear through so yeah so uh if you get a loose rivet it's going to let a little water seep in but we've never had to pump the boat out so um, last time we had it out, the wind was, it was so windy and waters were so rough. We were getting more splash, splashing than anything. So, you know, water just comes up and splashes into the boat. Or if you get wet and you get in your boat or you're fishing, you know, the fish are flopping water in. You're going to get some water in your boat, but, uh, and never, ever worried about it sinking. So, all right, let's move on. Okay, so there we go. It's all sealed. Now, if this boat had actual holes in it, I would take that clear down to bare aluminum. But all I did was just hit the rivets. Anything questionable, like over here, looked like I had a crack forming right there. But uh, I think it'll be all right. Like I said, it's going to have a couple coats of paint and a coat or two of clear coat. So, yeah, this boat will be fine. No big deals. So, that's good to go. Now, tomorrow, I'll make sure there's no dust and dirt on it and stuff. 
around these edges here like I said I gotta sand a little bit just by hand just sand some of that off and I'll start shooting it tomorrow uh, at least the white part you know what I mean uh, we got to go get some some clear coat so that way because she's got work Tuesday that way I can clear it Tuesday uh, I can clear the bottom I'm not doing this yet I'm gonna wait till it's up on the trailer to do the top part of it um, yeah so I'm pretty happy with that stuff it's two part you mix it and then uh, just put it on so I was kind of hurrying because I didn't know how long I had before it starts setting up I know it was starting to get sticky so anyway guys uh, but that's that so enjoy the next clip of monkey getting scared and I didn't really do anything so check that out and we'll see you guys later Shea Bird of Myth Man of Legend gone for now bye bye guys take care and enjoy the clip